boys! Welcome back to The Legend of Zelda. Spirit, look, I have a thing. I, I have a badge. A badge of honor because I beat a bug. I, I killed it, actually. I exterminated it. It was a great, fantastic time. Uh, it is hump day, the middle of the week. I have a bit of a tighter time schedule, so we might not be able to do a full hour and a half today. I have to meet a friend um, out for a drink. I, I made an agreement to go be social, and I hate when I do that, but <laughs> but I feel myself becoming more and more antisocial all the time, and I feel like I gotta try sometimes, you know? So I guess today we're just reporting back to Anjin and figuring out what in the world we're gonna do next. That seems to make the most sense to me. So we're gonna hop on the train, and while we ride, we're gonna have a chat. I've got a topic to talk about today, so just you wait. First, I gotta get my girl out of this temple. She's had enough of it in here. Come on, princess, let's get you back home. Uh, oh, there's trains on the tracks again. All right, so let's do, well, let's, well, let's, uh, girl, I'm gonna, hey, when, excuse me, excuse, excuse me, I would like to draw, there we go, okay, hi, okay. Uh, yes, this is my plan. Da, 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 da. Goodbye, Mr. Rabbit. Oh, 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 did you see that jump? That was wild. Uh, first of all, oh, I forgot to say my hellos. JW5953975, uh, Changeling DJ, John F, Dogface. Uh oh, something's in the way. I hear it. Should probably keep my eyes on the road, shouldn't I? Um, yeah, so today's topic, what was on my mind, is a discussion about skin. Human skin. The powerful, biggest organ of the human body. Keeps us safe from microbes and whatnot. Um, I was just having a conversation with a friend about how wild I feel our, our culture is with skin. Mind you, all of this was prompted because of um, TikTok and social media beauty filters. Um, because they, they, they keep getting better. I remember when I was in high school, beauty filters were like not good at all. They basically turned you into an un to a, a person that didn't look real. They were really, really botchy, and if you used them, they just kind of botched your face and made you look stupid. Wait, what's happening? Oh. What? Uh... Maybe I should be paying attention to my surroundings for a second. Um, George, what in the world is that? I don't really know what just happened, but I don't think that it looks good. Let's just stay away from those trains. That's probably gonna be for the best. Yeah, don't worry, I'll do that. We'll stay away from them. Um, so yeah, it doesn't look like they're in my direct path, I don't think. Wait a second, they might be. Um, wait, this might be a problem. Shit. Hold up! Throw it in reverse, Terry! The trains- alright, you see, they're both coming after me. Alright, let me go- this, this is fine, I can fix this. Don't worry, I'm just going to, uh... I'm gonna take my- my pen, and we'll go this way. Yeah, it'll be fine. Um... Here, let's- Let me- let me back it up this way. And we will throw her forward, and we will go this way. I, I think this makes more sense. Yes? Anyways, my, the, the whole skin thing was all about unrealistic beauty. What the fuck? What, what is this noise? Is this my train? Am I being hunted? No, we're fine. It's all good. Um, you have to keep in mind, I don't have good skin, but I thought that I did. <laughs> I was taught how bad skin looks in adults. I had really bad cystic acne, and are you kidding me? Wait, it's coming my way? Oh no, 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 oh god, oh god, oh god, this is bad. Um, I don't, what do I do? It's gonna...
Okay, that was some actual fucked up bullshit. Why are their trains so much faster than mine? Girl, what the fuck was that? They didn't give me a chance. Okay, you know what? Do I have to start back at the temple? Oh, of course I do. Fucking hell. Okay. Let me... Christ. Let me figure out... So, how do I- OH MY GOD! I- I wanna draw! I wanna draw, I wanna go, I wanna pay attention to what I'm doing. Good- Good God! This is ridiculous. Um... So... Right, so in high school I had really bad cystic acne, and I always never paid attention to like things like pore size or sun damage on your skin or freckles, which I have a bunch of. So I always thought that like good skin meant not having acne, and bad skin meant having acne. And so when I was finally done being a teenager and I became an adult and my acne cleared up and went away, I was like riding cloud nine, and I thought this is the best thing since, you know, sliced bread. Then I learned through society that no, no, like, good skin is actually supposed to be, like, porcelain. Because once you become an adult, like, the teenage game is all about the acne. Once you're an adult, the game is all about, does your skin look old? Does it look like your skin has been out in the sun too long? Does it look like it's lived too good of a life? And so, like, having freckles, that's, okay, pause. I have to pay attention now. Let me think very carefully about my movements here. This should get us where I need to go. I think. Probably. Possibly. Perfectly. Just keep an eye out on these goddamn trains. That's all. Uh, am I going to be able to beat this train? I'm concerned. Anyways, I, I guess I just find it very frustrating because I was like, why do we hate on older skin so much? Now, I... Oh god, here we go. Alright, no, I think we're fine. Good riddance. Adios. Pispald. We're, we're good. All is swell in the world again. Um, I can't be bothered to invest that much in doing the skincare things. And this is the other problem. My, if, if you guys want to know George's skincare routine for this face that looks like it's 10 years older than it's supposed to be, which you guys probably can't even see my pore size because it, it's a small camera on a small screen, but, um, like, they're big. It is basically what I've learned about myself. I have large pores, and they're probably only going to get larger later in life. Um, I don't do the acid things, like putting chemical exfoliants on your face. I, in the shower, I wash my face with water and a gentle facial soap. <laughs> Out of the shower and drying my face, I put on a daily facial moisturizer because my skin is extremely dry after the shower if I don't do that. Um, and that has a little bit of SPF in it, so, you know, you get your little bit of sun protection, too. But that's it. Um, th there's no chemical exfoliants, there's no... There's no products. I've tried to use them before. Like, I, w when I had acne, I tried to use, like, you know, the fucking proactive ac face acne solution things. And then as an adult, when people made me feel insecure about the size of my pores, I tried things like facial peels, face masks, chemical exfoliants of like different acids. All of them, my skin seemed to only get progressively worse. And maybe, granted, benefit of the doubt, some people who are like beauty gurus and know more about this stuff, they might swear by the fact that that means that it was working. It's like, oh, it's supposed to get better before it, or it, it, oh, it's supposed to get worse before it gets better, like one of my Ace Attorney trials. But like, I would start using these things and like, my face was just falling off of my face. 
I, I was shedding like a snake. My skin had like these dry patches that were flaking. And like, I would try to exfoliate that off. But then like, you know, 30 minutes later, it would start getting all dry and patchy again. And I would be literally just shedding these like skin dandruff flakes on people when I would try to go out in public. And I was like, this, this doesn't feel correct. <laughs> this doesn't feel like what should be happening to my skin. And so I ultimately just gave up on even bothering to try and just keeping my skin stuff as literally as simple and basic as possible. Um, and, and, and trying to be more comfortable in the fact that like, yeah, I'm gonna look like a boy who was out in the sun too long. I have very, very pasty pale white skin. It's very sensitive to sun damage. I have large pores. I just wish society cared less. And I think it sucks because it was like, I remember being a teenager and like, because acne was my concern, I was just like, oh, this is great. It's all going to be fantastic now. But it's like, the bar is always moving. No matter how good you get somewhere, people are always like, well, here's the next thing that's wrong that needs to be fixed. They always are trying to fix something. And I just... I don't know. It's been bothering me. <laughs> Clearly. Anyways, I'm also getting hot and bothered. I'm gonna have to turn up my AC. You guys, you don't get it, okay? It, it's cold in this apartment until I turn on my ring light to stream, and then it gets ungodly hot. I don't know if the ring light produces heat. It doesn't feel like it does, but I always get hot in front of the light. One moment. <sighs> Anyways, yeah, I guess society has, like, TikTok with their beauty filters and all these people who are like, your skin has to be porcelain. I guess they've successfully made me feel self-conscious about skin, but like, how far can you take that, honestly, realistically? I, I know that by my own volition, I've never looked at my own or another person's, like, pores in their skin and been like, oh, that looks ugly. I never had that thought occur in my own brain until other people told me that having large pores is an ugly thing. So it was like, I learned that it's a flaw and needs to be taken care of. And I was like, well, that sucks. <laughs> Cause also, here's the science fact, which I'm sure most people have finally learned by now. Your pores don't actually open and close despite the, every single skincare product on earth saying this will open your pores or this will close your pores. No. Your pores are just like holes in your face. They simply exist. Now, as, you, you, as your skin gets older, they can get bigger because the collagen in your skin can break down and they can, they can get a little bit larger. There are products that claim they'll build more collagen and they'll squeeze your pores tighter. I guess some people have seen minimal results with that where it's like, oh, I guess my pores are a teeny bit smaller. It's not like they go away. You're, you're, not, you're not gonna close them. You can't. They're, they need to be there to, for your skin to function correctly. Um, so they just exist. It's just a part of the skin. <laughs> so I don't know why everybody's so hellbent on trying to act like they don't have any. Anyways. Hey, Angie, we did the work. Are you proud of us? Oh, yes, theory. Thanks to you, too, the forest temple has been re-energized. And now the Tower of Spirits has plenty of energy too, thank you. What temple should we go to next? The next temple is deep in the mountains and closed off by snowstorms. But again, you must first obtain a realm map. Now that the energy from the forest is flowing into the tower again, you can go farther up the tower to the next level of the realm map, or to the level you climb higher and get the realm map. Obtain it quickly, you two. 
We must get to the next temple soon. Right. Why? Are we on a time crunch? I don't really understand. Anyways, let's go get the second rail map, George. All right, let's. Uh, all right, so yeah, let's just let's just do the thing, I guess. Look, George. Yeah. The stairs go up higher than they did when we were here last time. Let's go find the new floor and uh, and find the next rail map. Right. Okay. Here I go. Now, I understand that there is going to be some replay value to going back. Oh, oops. My bad. That wasn't my intention. No, no, no. I understand that we want to come back here someday, but I feel like I needed bombs. And I feel like I still don't have bombs. So I feel like I still can't do what I want to do in there yet. So I guess we have to wait a little bit longer. Oh. Oh. Oh, there's music. But I don't hear any mucus. All right, floor four. I see we got a phantom. Oh, make that two. Ah! Oh! Well, it is certainly hot in here. You know, getting into one of those clinky suits of armor is just about the last thing that I want to do. But I guess I'll do it if you think it'll help. Uh, I mean, no, it's fine, probably. Well, that's really nice of you to say, but I really wasn't giving you a choice. It was just, you know, a, a, an illusion for gameplay mechanic. Um, but I'm actually going to do that, so you don't really have an option. I'll just pretend that I'm unwinding in a spa sauna. Hmm, do you have one of those in the castle? Because I certainly didn't see it. Whoa! Hi. All right, so what's my strat here? I think we want to... Is there a... Below this? Yeah, that'll do. Um... Oh, excuse me, sorry. <laughs> it's too to lied. Don't turn around. I'm just gonna grab this tier of light, if you don't mind. And then, I'm gonna circle up to this one. Nice. And then, we will just... Hmm. I have an idea. I think this is a game of just having some patience. Ha ha! Ha 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 ha! Look, it's the good that I've done! I've gotta go strike the phantom! Oh! Well, first he's gotta come strike me. Alright, turn around, you sly little bitch. Oh! Alright, you're a speedy motherfucker. Okay, that's fine. Do I still have all my tears of light? I do. Sure as fuck. All right, let's, let's play this a little bit more carefully this time. Uh, let me get his attention. Uh, let me run into the safety zone. Oh, 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 Go! <laughs> I'm gonna need you to stop. All right, princess. Uh, do the thing. Sick. Now that I'm a phantom, I can walk through fire and lava! I'm like a walking, talking shield, George! That's great, sweetie. Um, real proud of you. Uh, can I get this treasure, maybe? Zelda, can you... engage? What's in here? The pirate necklace. Check it on the collection screen. Okay. So, girl, what are... What are you gonna do? I need you to talk to this man. Okay, that's truly all she does. She just talks to him. Alright, never mind. Come back to me. Uh, you need to walk me through this, I think. Take me over to the other side, Cappy. This armor can withstand any heat, so feel free to hit your right on my shield. Just tap to jump aboard. Okay, I can do that. Hoi! 
I'm gonna ride her. Because I went to ride her. Man, I should have worn my rider shirt today. The pun would have fit excellently. You know, I kind of like being carried by a woman. Spares me a lot of headache. All right, off we go. Come hither. Floor five. This is a big one. Uh, Julie, do the thing. Yes, sir. Um, okay. I see. Nice. Uh, then there's one over... Oh, well, there's actually a couple of things that are interesting here. Oi! Stay away from me! Ha! Get fucked. Alright, take me to this treasure... No, you fuck! Yeah, that's what you get. All right, take me there, princess. Got a big green ruby. That's what I like. Oh, oops, my, oh God. Oh, Link, 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 sweetheart. You gotta be a little more careful, you see. Jump on her highness. Blow away. And so then we're, then we're good. All right, so we go up here. I'll hop off. Come hither toe. Dame. Uh, what, what is the game here? Thank you. Um. Hmm. Uh, Zelda, uh, Zelda, uh, Zelda, 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 I'm gonna need you to move, girl, girl, can I jump up here? Hmm, damn, I should be able, it looks like I should be able to, doesn't it? Whatever, that's fine. Uh, can't seem to do much at the present moment with that, so we'll just, you know, we'll, we'll get around to it when we do. What's going on in here? There's some kind of a monster. Oh, I see. Hmm. We gotta trap this thing, your highness. Ha! Ha 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 ha! Alright, that was pretty sick. All right, now that we got a key, I reckon we go in here. And I reckon I just need your clunky ass to hop me across the lava. Seems a little tedious, but you know, the game developers wanted me to do it, so I will, I will commit to the bit. Girl, girl, honey, sweetheart, try again. Ah, that's better. Floor six. Oh. Ah! What is that disgusting monster? The phantoms are terrifying enough, but at least they're not as revolting as that thing. Let's fight them together, George. Ah, look at its skin. Hey, princess. I'm gonna sneak around and touch it in the butt. Princess, attack it. Princess, attack it. Girl, do something. All right, honey. Ah! Engage it. All right, princess, engage. Engage. And that, my friends, is how you tag team someone. All right, that was pretty dope. We did it! 
remember when we worked together, nothing can stop us! Right, yeah, for sure. This looks suspicious. Is there anything noteworthy about it? Oh, well, it was where the enemy spawned, so I guess maybe it's just enemy platform, number one. That's fine. All right. Go down this way, circle around. I see more monsters, your highness. Oh, wait for me! Oh, I might have to, actually. Uh, Zelda, can you do anything with this? Hmm. Doesn't really look to be the case. Um, let me... Can I... Hmm. Uh, princess! I do reckon you help me out here. Ouch. Get me across. Thanks. Love. Alright, I think I get it. Maybe I need to get up here. Uh, come this way. I thought you could hop on the top of my shield! Yeah, that's kind of what I was thinking, actually. Great minds think alike, don't they? Alright, maybe this is- maybe- What is that game you, people play in swimming pools where you get up on somebody's shoulders and you try to knock the other person off? What's that called? That's what- oh, that's what I just did. Chicken? Is it plain chicken? I feel like it's plain chicken. Alright, do I need to stay on top of her, or am I good? Oh no, there's more of these fuckers. Alright, let's go. Alright, girl, get out of the way! Alright, that's good. I'll take that money, if you don't mind. And it is called chicken, except you typically don't kill the other person. Well, what's the fun in that? Alright, let's go get this key. Bum, bum. Ba -dum, ba -dum, ba -dum, ba -dum. Uh, please don't blow me off, please don't blow me off. Oh, my timing was sick! Perfect. Okay, I don't think that I need- oh no, I think I still do need her. I have to get back across the fire things, don't I? Whoa, did you guys see all the treasure over there? That was a lot. I would like that. How do I- I guess this is another place I'll have to come back to in the future. Alright. Uh, princess, get me across. Thanks. And do it one more time for me. Danke schön. Komm. Komm aus. Sehr gut. Up again. Floor 7. All right, this looks like our our rail map floor. I'm back to the way I was before, George! That must mean the Braille map is in this room. Yeah. Let's grab her. You got the snow rail map! Wow, a whole second area already. Racking up these things kind of fast, aren't we? Alright, so there's a locked there's a locked place, and there's a snow village. That looks like the Snow Temple, though. It doesn't look like we have access to that. Some of the Lost Spirit tracks on the map are reappearing. Yeah. Alright. Let's, uh, go down. Macadamia Nut! Hello! I'm meeting a boy tonight. How do you approach more of a date instead of just a hookup? Oh my god, Macadamia Nut, you have a date tonight? Does he know that it's a date and not a hookup? Wait, what does this mean? I'm confused by your confusion. Um, 
For, rule number one is that it should be very clear beforehand whether it's a date or a hookup. If you're going to his house at 10 o'clock at night, you're going on a hookup. <laughs> If you're going out to a place, if you're going to catch a movie, a dinner, a bar for drinks or something, you're going on a date. Now a date can also be a hookup if you decide to go home with that person after the date. Um, but if you don't want to, you know, hook up right away, it's perfectly fine to just commit to the date and then be like, and, and not go home with the person. Um, but what, what is when you say, how do you approach someone as more of a date well that's the thing if you're looking for more of a date don't hang out at the person's place that that is never a date if the per if this person is telling you hey do you want to come hang out you know the classic netflix and chill i'm sorry it's not a date you don't do a first date at a guy's house all right take it from me as a person who's been around the block as a little bit of a whore um if you're look if you're trying to approach somebody for a date instead of a hookup, you just ask them to go literally anywhere in public. Do you want to go to the movies sometime? Usually the 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 easiest low committal first date and and and, and this is actually a pro tip. Um that that's that I think is commonly known. Coffee shop dates. Um or a drink at a bar. If it, it, this depends, obviously. Are you going on a date in the daytime or at night? Um, usually, it is a good idea to pick something that will be quick and already have an exit. Be like, hey, so, so the coffee shop date is usually ideal because people are like, hey, I would love to meet you for lunch. I have, like, a free hour in the middle of my day. I can meet you at a coffee shop. We can have a drink, maybe a sandwich or something. And then I have to go about my day. Because the thing is, if you hit it off and you like the person, it's going to be very easy to make a second date. But if you don't like the person, the coffee shop or meeting for a single drink at a bar, it's very low commitment because you're only committing at most an hour. And that's usually if it goes well. If it's not going very well, usually you can wrap something like that up in like 30 <laughs> in like 30 minutes or whatever um so it, it's just it's it's an easy way to get to meet somebody in person and kind of suss them out a little bit um and then decide and so it's almost you, the first date is almost like a pre-date and then after if the pre-date goes well that's when you make more like concrete plans for like a real date like hey let's do a full evening together where we go out to dinner we get tickets to go see a movie or some kind of a show or some activity of some kind um since i live in buffalo new york my secret weapon of like a real date if i'm trying to take a guy and get him really fucking wet <laughs> is i will take him up to niagara falls uh i've done this date with i multiple men I will take them to Niagara Falls and I'll take them on the Maid of the Mist into the Cave of the Winds they're just to, to people who aren't local here it's really fucking cool it's one of the wonders of the world and uh it's the boat that Jim and Pam were married on in the office as a local a lot of us have been there done that but honestly I never get bored of it either like taking a boat into the Niagara Falls and then climbing the hurricane deck? Yeah, I can do that a couple of times a year and be okay with it. <laughs> Never gets old. All right, and Jean, I got the next rail map. What do you want me to do? Ah, oh, so you've retrieved the second rail map. Then your next task is clear. Is it to get sidetracked with side quests? Um, Jacob Welsh, there are a couple side quests in Castletown you can do now if you want to go before doing the Snow Realm. That's probably... I think today is probably a good day to faff around. I already did a temple. I don't need to rush into the next temple already. Um... Yeah. You must go to the Snow Temple and restore the flow of energy to the tower. Find the Snow Sanctuary where the Locomo Steam resides and talk to him. He'll help you open the way to the temple. Okay. Very well, be careful. Right. I'm going to.
All right. Um, let's go. Before we go to the... Well, jeez. Okay, girl. Let's go to Castletown. Let's dick around, see if I can find some side quest shit to get in. You might be able to start the stamp book soon. That'd be nice. Oh, what are, are these boars? Hey, clear out of here. Hey, George, watch out. They're not running away. Hang in there, George. Um, girl? All right, let's speed it up a little. Oh my God. We just keep getting hit. If this keeps up, our train is going to explode. We should go back to Castletown and see if Alfonso can help us. Girl, that was my plan from the start. Okay, is the game cheating? No, hey, this is a very, very real question. Did I fuck this up or is the game cheating? Because her dialogue made it sound like there was nothing I could do. The horn wasn't making them run away from me. It sounds like maybe Alfonso will give me, hopefully to Christ, a weapon like the cannon or something that I had on the boat to deal with them. But I couldn't do anything, and they fucking killed me. And that just feels like that's not fair. <laughs> that was bullshit. Okay, try one more time. No, girl, please. Draw the map. Draw... Thank you. Okay. Let me... Let's... God damn. Is, is it gonna happen again? Just got unlucky? Uh, please stay the fuck away from me. Oh my god. Here, here we go again. Okay, boys. Okay, I must have just barely not made it. Oh, really? That doesn't count as a stop. <laughs> Overpulled it a little. All right, w let me see if I can talk to Alfonso. Well, I guess maybe I should talk to everybody. Oh, did you hear the great news? The spirit tracks are back, George! Yeah, I did hear, actually. Alright. Fonz- Oh, I have mail. Oh, hey! Howdy, mister! Greetings! I'm here with a letter from Mr. Alfonso! Oh, just the man I'm looking for. He told me recently he suffered a nasty injury, but he is now on the mend. Now, where was I? Oh, it's your letter! Sorry, I'm easily distracted. Here you go! Okay. Got a letter from the postman. Go to the collection screen to read it. Okay, I've delivered your mail safely to you. Well, my work seems to be done here, so I'll be off and I'll see you around. Uh, collection screen. Letter... Alfie. Uh, George, sorry I wasn't able to help you out more. That guy really did a number on my ass, so I was feeling pretty rough for a while. Luckily, I'm feeling a lot better now with my Preparation H, so if you would mind, uh, just please come get me at the castle and, uh, take me back to Aboda Village. Thanks! Oh, Daddy, if you insist, I'm coming here to pick you up. Don't you worry. Um, I will. I will do that. Um, but while I'm still here... Real quick, is this something that I can do anything in yet? Oh, a door is lit. Hello there, my green friend. How are you? This is where we play Take Em All On. As the name suggests, your mission is to knock down every enemy in sight. Now make no mistake, this isn't a game for the faint of heart. Would you like to play? Well, I'm supposed to pick up Alfonso, but I guess I could try. Is that a twinkle I see in your eye? Okay. Listen up, Greeny. It's simple. I'll open a door for you in a second. Just past the door is a monster-infested dungeon. It's no place for weaklings. Your goal is to get rid of all the baddies and get to the end of the dungeon. However, your 
find nothing to restore your health inside. Nothing at all. Depending on where you are, your items won't work either, so just watch out. If you pay attention, it'll be lights out before you know it, Greeny. Titanic fanatic, oh my god. Alright, will I play take them all? Yeah, I'll give it a shot, why not? Oh, it costs money, of course it does. Alright, well fine. I have a lot of that. I'm a rich bitch at, these, at this exact moment in time. Alright, let's see how rough it is. Take them all on, you say? Alright, I'm ready to focus. Like a laser. Now, you have to keep in mind, I mostly have to swipe. I understand that there's a mechanic to tap on enemies, which is probably the ideal way to handle a lot of this, but because my 3DS has a bad touch screen that is not accurate, tapping on enemies has like a 30% success rate with me. <laughs> it is actually much more efficient for me to try to swipe at things. Oh, it's Octorox. Man, everything takes two fucking hits, though. Nice. Ow, fuck. Alright, I gotta be real careful, but I don't- I don't know how much I have to do. I'm curious, I wonder how many- okay, that was bullshit. I wonder how many floors there are. Also, I wonder if I can use my thing in here. Well... If I run into crisis, I can give it a shot. I bet it probably won't, though. Okay, 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 okay. Uh, big... Okay, 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 this this floor has a lot going on. I'm a little scared, I'm not gonna lie. Alright, kill that. Okay, there's, there's too many fast-moving things here. I'm uncomfortable. Jesus Christ! Fucking blow the wind, my guy! Okay, 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 it's fine. Oh my god! Link, blow! Good lord! Alright. Kill it. Thank you. Okay. Okay. Kill it. Okay. Oh my god, that one- that room was stressful. Okay. That was- that was a stressful room. How many more floors are there? Okay. Choo-choo's probably aren't as bad. I- I think this floor is- that floor was worse. By miles. This one- th this one not so bad. I'm okay with this floor. Next. Oh, not the bomb slugs. Just hit them and then stay out of the way. That's probably the best way to do this. Just, just let them all blow up, stay safe, stay calm, you're good, you're golden. Don't be flashy with it. Alright. Yeah, no, 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 I feel like this, 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 this seems pretty good. Ugh, bats. Freaking bats, man. I hate the keys. The keys can be very tricky. It's very easy for them to fly erratically into my face, and then I lose hearts. But not this time, baby. I'm doing pretty fucking good. Maybe come back here with more hearts. Hang on, I'm doing just fine. I think. Oh, God, these boys. Okay. Uh, pick one, I guess? I have to go hit it! Man, I was really far away from it. Okay. 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 
Okay, good. Nice. This is going fine. I'm doing well. Phew! Alright. Sick deal. Next! Wait, didn't we start here? Okay. Whoa, 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 whoa! Okay. Things are starting to look a little less fortunate for me. That's fine. Don't die, George! Not after I've come this far. Oh god, we're fucked. Yep. Uh, nope, it's 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 not looking good, Jonesy. I'm gonna be real honest with you. This floor is looking stressful as all fucking hell. Okay, okay, actually this floor went surprisingly well, not gonna lie. Okay, I'm okay with it. Nice. Wait! The boss? Oh no. Oh boy. It's the whole fucking boss. Okay. This should this should be fine. I, I kicked its ass once. I guess now's a good time to see if my heart restore will work. Stagnox, you're back again. Missed you, old friend. Um, just just out of curiosity, just just to see if it works. You played the song of healing. The spirit of healing can't help you. Well, great. What a fantastic friend you are. All right, just don't get hit, and everything will be fine. Okay. Just don't get hit, and everything will be fine. The rules are actually quite simple. Alright, girl, when you're ready. When, when you're- okay. Okay. One more time. One more time. When you're ready- okay, careful. Be very careful with it. No, girl! Fuck it, Link! You premature blue! Alright, we gotta get you to calm down on that. Alright, careful with your talking. Okay. Phew! Part one down. One part down, one part to go. Just watch out for the bomb slugs and we'll be good to go. I'm assuming this is probably the final floor, right? There's no other bosses we've encountered yet. Very careful. Be very tactful in your movements. Nice. And then get ready to fuck it up. Okay, sick. Okay, sick. That went pretty well. I'm gonna take that money, please. Thank you. Okay. 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 This is, this is, I'm, I'm doing so good. One more, this ought to do it. Girl, don't. Stay away from that bomb. I killed it. I am a beast. Fuck yeah. You're welcome, boys. I, I'm a gamer. A professional fucking gamer. I look like I am ready to die, but... Whew. Nerd Gamer, 2848, you stream right when I work. Dang, well, I wish you luck. Best big nostalgia and memories. Ah, well, hopefully someday when you have a day off, maybe you can catch it. Or you can just be a non-live watcher. We love those, too. Hey, good work, Greeny. 
You made it to the end of the dungeon. Thanks. Barely broke a sweat. Your time was 8.13. Not bad at all. Here's your prize this time, and I hope you like it. Oh, shit! Oh, a heart container! I love it, actually! You increased your life by one and refilled your hearts. Nice! Okay, that's what I needed. Congrats on beating the easiest battle, Gallen. All right, well, you don't have to patronize me. <laughs> okay, so nice. I do like that we have a heart container. Is there more shopping I can do with my money? Oh, I didn't mean to go. I, I did not mean to talk to you, actually. Uh, <laughs> I meant to talk to you. Because something I do think that I want is probably, probably the red potion. Okay. And then I probably also want to at least experiment with what these postcards do, maybe? Prize postcards, they're 100 rupees, mail them for a chance to win big. Will I win big, though? I don't know, you won't learn unless you, unless you try. You got 10 prize postcards, send them out in the mail to collect bonuses. Thank you very much! All right. Come back again soon. Well, I will try. Uh, so what do I do? I just put that in the mail? Can I do that? Hello there, valued customer! We're here for all your postal needs. You've mailed zero postcards today. Just in case you were wondering, you can mail up to 20 in a day. Really? Would you like to send pro postcards? Wait, how does th I'm so confused. All right, chat, in a spoiler-free way, can you explain to me what the fuck I'm doing? Because I, I feel like this wasn't explained to me, or if it was, I did not pay attention. So, is it like a lottery system, and if I mail multiple postcards, my chances of winning goes up? Like, I get a higher percent chance of winning? Like, is, is it more beneficial to do five in a day, or 20? Like, should I do all 10 right now, today? Or should I be spacing these out? Should I be doing one a day over 10 days? I just... <laughs> I'm really flying blind here, and I don't, I, I don't get it. I don't get the system. Somebody help. <laughs> Somebody help and just write a brief synopsis of how this works. Exactly, it's a lottery. Okay, so... You're saying exactly as in the more I put in, the higher my chances go? Do we- do- is there a percentage rule? Is it like 1 is 1%, 10 is 10%? Or is it like 1 is 10% and 10 is 100% like a guaranteed victory? You know? I don't know. What seems like a good number? Should I just do 5 and call it a day? More equals better? I'll put in 5. Thank you, and I'll take it from here. I hope you'll come by again with mail for me. You can see the current day prizes on the board. Oh, let me go look at that. Uh, prizes. The more postcards, oh yeah, here it is. <laughs> the more postcards you send, the better your chances of winning. Today's prizes are in first place is a Mystic Jade, a second place is a Dragon Scale, and third is a Wood Heart. Well, I don't know what any of that means. Do I have a way to check my treasures? Mystic Jade, Dragon Scale, Wooden Heart. Collection. Tre treasures? Well, I got fucking bee larva. Uh, I've got a Star Fragment. I've got a Dark Pearl Loop, and I got a Pirate Necklace. Hmm. You know, I don't know if I really love this lottery system. Whatever, we'll just throw the other five in there. Yeah, here, I already spent a hundred fucking rupees. This might have been silly. I don't know how important that is. I'm gonna go see Alfonsi. Don't worry, Alfie, I am coming for you, Daddy, Zaddy, Poppy, Papa. How are you feeling? 
Ah, oh, George, you got my letter, did ya? I can finally get around on my own again, but what hurts most is my pride. You're loud and proud? How could I fail to defend the princess? Oh, well, actually, about that, let me, let me fill you in. Well, she's here in spirit with us. You have to go to the Snow Realm to get her body back. Well, normally I'd say you were crazy, but you do seem pretty serious. Yeah... The thing is, from here on out, there are gonna be lots of monsters. And an ordinary train like yours isn't gonna be able to make them stand- isn't gonna be able to stand up to them. Yes, so I learned. Do you have a solution for me? Oh, I do have an idea, but we're gonna have to go back home to Aboda Village first. Use your new train to take me back there. I'll be waiting at the station. Okay. I can do that. But first, whilst I am here, um, it might not be the worst idea while I'm here in Castletown to visit my boss. <laughs> because I'm a recruit, and I should show my boss. Oh, hi, you're here. What are you doing? Oh, it's you again. The princess still hasn't returned. It's very troubling. What should I do? A teacher, I'm right here! Oh, Trad, he can't hear me. George, please just tell the teacher that he doesn't have to worry about me. What was that, young man? You mean the princess's spirit is right here right now? Oh, uh, yeah. You talk like she's passed away! How incredibly insensitive of you! I'm sure she's just out wandering around somewhere. But if I send the soldiers out looking for her, the kingdom would panic. I suppose I'll just have to go out and find her myself. I'm sorry. Princess, we- I am forcing you to rehire all of your staff. What is the point of hiring and paying all of these guards if they don't go out looking for you when you're missing? What the fuck? Who's running this castle? It's a, it's a wonder your kingdom hasn't fallen apart already. God damn shit. Girl. You're just having your money stolen from you. Well, I guess no one is going to believe us. Well, let's go try to get my body back so I can fire all of my employees. Yeah, let's. Alright, hi recruit. You look nice with your big stick. Sorry for running into your pole. I'm gonna go talk to my boss. My boss. Hey, boss. What's up? I'm gonna keep practicing every day. Do you wanna train? Well, yeah, I wanna train. I wanna train. Can I not train? Maybe I can't train. All right, never mind. Fuck him. I guess I can't train. <laughs> All right, I guess I'm gonna go take Alfonsi back to my village. Oh, actually, shit! It's already eight o'clock. Um, all right, forgive me, chat. I think we're gonna take Alfonsi, um, on his little train ride tomorrow. Um, like I said, I have to do a short stream today because I do have to meet a friend out for a drink. <clears throat> but, um, yeah, that, that's just the way that it goes sometimes. Um, but that's fine. We, I feel like, are cruising through this game at a very... At, Unlike the Great Ace Attorney, I feel like I'm moving through this game at a pace that feels very satisfactory to me, kind of like Mario RPG. So, I'm okay doing a short stream today. I think it's fine. I'm gonna save my progress. Save complete. And then I'm gonna... Chill? Yeah. So thank you guys for spending the evening with me. Sorry that it's a bit of a shorter stream this time. I will try to... Alright. If I don't have anything going on tomorrow, maybe I'll stream for two full hours instead of an hour and a half. Maybe. And if somebody buys me a shot. <laughs> Anyways, um, that, but, you know, that's tomorrow's problem. See you guys there tomorrow, 7 o'clock Eastern Time. If you could, please leave a like on this stream. The engagement is super helpful. And, uh, yeah, that's it. Short stream, but to the point, we got some work done. And I'll see you boys then. All right. Toodles!